this Monday, your morning will go gaga. Ga, ga, ga. She stunned the VMAs. Breathtaking shot. Electrifying. So what will she do next? Monday morning, Lady Gaga performs live. Even we don't know what to expect. Say good morning, America, to Lady Gaga. Monday, exclusive on ABC. Hello to our fans online, I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez with the top stories on this Thursday. President Obama in Russia today for a high-level economic summit, but the focus is expected to be on Syria. The president won a narrow victory when a key Senate committee approved a resolution authorizing an attack. Russian President Vladimir Putin, meantime, is accusing Secretary of State John Kerry about lying uh, in regards to Syria. He also says it was Syrian rebels, not the government, who used chemical weapons. Public health officials in New Hampshire believe one person has died of a rare degenerative brain disease, and they say there's a remote chance that up to 13 others in multiple states have also been exposed. The disease progresses rapidly and is always fatal, usually within just a few months. The multi-state contamination is because some of the surgical equipment is rented and moved from state to state. Five girls in Fresno, California, recovering from second-degree burns from limes. Yep, the fruit. It happened when the girls made a lime and lemonade stand outside. Well, a combination of the lime juice and the sunlight caused a dangerous chemical reaction that actually left them covered in painful blisters and worse. It's not clear if those marks will clear up. And finally, something you've probably never seen done before with balloons anyway. This time-lapse video showing Jeff Wright, one of the world's best balloon artists, meeting a challenge, making an Iron Man suit in under 10 hours using no more than 500 balloons. He's almost there if you keep watching all of it to celebrate the digital release of Iron Man 3. There he is. It's crazy good. That really is pretty good, the whole it's mask nuts. and everything. It's only it's 500 balloons or less, although it did take him almost 10 hours, so that's uh, it's quite a feat. He's really an artist. Yes, wow. he is. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.